Hi everyone, welcome back to 60 new Einsetzen and Anzetzen exercises. Today's exercise is um, fairly straightforward. I'm going to keep saying that because essentially what we're doing with these exercises, um, you know, I, I do these things as a warm up each day and so I don't make them too technically demanding. There are going to be some later on um, that push you as a player. Um, in fact, this one today, I think I will try um, experimenting with doing it an octave or more higher later on um, as a means of integrating a lip trill into, into playing. But for today, it's simply just um, a little pattern. Da -da 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 this kind of... And we're going to stick... A um, einsetzen and anzetzen at the beginning and an anzetzen and einsetzen at the end. So basically all we're doing is we're just smoothly moving from one register to another, from one embouchure to another, doing some playing, trying to make sure that every, knots, every note slots in tune, good pitch center, and as you can see I'm sat on the sofa, I'm completely relaxed, I'm trying to keep um, all of the tension out of the corners of my chops, we want this to be loose and flexible. And I'm just going for um, a pleasing sound. So there's always a lot to aim for. You know, your standards can be as high as you make them with this sort of stuff. But like I said, essentially it's just a warm up pattern. So it goes something like this. <laughs> So just relaxed flow of air, um, if I was to, to be pedantic about my words, it's a relaxed release of pressurised air. Consistently from the beginning of the end, beginning to the end of the exercise. And you can clearly hear that I had plenty of air to actually to play for quite some time in both the whole thing so I'm not you know it's a very efficient relaxed use of air um, so let's do it in, in other keys starting a semitone lower <laughs> one again just had a little bit of hesitation I couldn't decide whether to use the trigger or not I was playing around with a with a tuner quite a lot in my practice yesterday and actually found that so much of the time my concert C or the D on this trumpet in one and three um, is perfectly in tune without moving the slide now I could um, talk a lot about why um, that's the case it is one of the advantages of having uh, of playing with TCE or Super Chop set up. But um, well, I don't want to get into it. This video, I don't want to end up making another 10 minute video like a couple days ago um, because that's not the purpose of these videos. We need to stay on topic. So, A flat. <laughs> I said the opposite the other day. There's no harm in, talk, in talking about these things, but I don't want to be preaching my crazy ideas. So, G. And then last of all.
last one could be better. Thanks for watching.